Russia created the Friday security system to protect large-scale facilities from Ukrainian drones. Ukrainian strike drones, Russian refineries and other critical infrastructure facilities showed that the available means of combating drones are not always able to cope with the threat. Against this background, specialists from one of the enterprises of Russia development, the Friday security system, capable of protecting even large-scale objects, from attacks. The new system combines both kinetic and radio electronic means of destroying drones. Friday is able to determine the type of drone and how to combat it. In some cases, these will be electronic warfare systems, in others, automatic machine gun installations. While there are no details about the system, its presentation will take place as part of the Army 2024 Forum in August. This is a software solution that brings everything together into one central location. We've taken the best from industry and cybersecurity, merging it all together to give us the ability to manage disparate devices across large sites, says the representative of the developer. Regarding the name of the security system, Friday, the company explained that there were no hidden meanings in it. The project was simply invented on Friday. Earlier, Rostec reported that the Pantsir air defense missile system covering the refinery cannot always intercept Ukrainian drones, so the defense will be strengthened by electronic warfare systems. Facing mounting pressure on the battlefield more than two years since Russia's full-scale invasion, Ukraine has tried to find a pressure point against the Kremlin by targeting oil refineries and energy facilities inside Russia using drones. The attacks have been made possible by the use of drones with longer ranges and more advanced capabilities some of which have even begun to integrate a basic form of artificial intelligence to help them navigate and avoid being jammed. News of the drone attacks came as the situation on Ukraine's eastern front has worsened significantly, the military's top commander, Alexander Sirsky, said a few days ago. Two people have been killed in a Russian attack on the city of Dnipro on April 19th. Six more have been killed in the city of Senelnikov, including two children, and 29 other residents of the oblast have been injured. The five-story building in Dnipro was partially destroyed and on fire, potentially trapping people under the rubble. Two infrastructure facilities were damaged too. In Senelnikov, four private houses were partially destroyed, and eight more were damaged. The region had survived another massive attack, with Ukrainian air defense forces shooting down some of the enemy targets, including nine missiles in the morning and two more overnight. However, some missiles still managed to hit their targets. In Pavlorad, an enterprise was damaged, while the cities of Nikopol and Marinets were shelled with artillery in the evening, resulting in damage to two private houses. The number of casualties continues to rise as the rescue operation is ongoing. The Russians also attacked the Nikopol district. In the evening, they shelled the town of Nikopol with artillery and Marinets Romata overnight, damaging two private houses. Unfortunately, the number of the dead and injured will grow. We are continuing to clear the rubble of the damaged houses. Aid stations have been set up on the ground. Psychologists are at work. The police are accepting statements from those affected, Interior Minister Iyer Klemenko said. Thank you.